Hi everyone, uh, we would like to show you a few more trades on another instrument uh, on the 25th of February. Um, yesterday we used micro SMP and we traded that using interactive brokers that requires around $1,000 for each contract. And uh, so now we want to show you the same style of a scalping using a smaller time frame but on another instrument and I will explain it in detail. Now let's check the pre-market and post-market uh, review of the, each trades. So in terms of uh, market news, we expected some major release around 930 and in terms of geopolitical news uh, still uh, i think the tension is less uh, for the ukraine war and so the market also if you check the daily chart the market was rebounding so it was uh, some relief and it was not falling like the day before which also rebounded very shortly and had high volatility so this is a big picture and we have to go to the trading session to see volatility in our trading charts. So we will check that. So therefore we with awareness about the news time and also psychology which is okay. And I feel it now, this section. So everything is okay in terms of all these factors news or psychology is okay trading experience trading our session volatility of market that we just checked and we have to recheck again risk management from previous day is okay discipline score from previous day we got 92 here so that was pre-market check uh, so for the first trade i'm just showing you an instrument that is uh, ETF, a very high volume ETF that is traded around 60 million share per day. So it has very tight spread, uh, similar to a spider, SPY and QQQ. Uh, so this is the ETF and its volume TQQ that is traded around 68 million today. And that's even higher than QQQ, which is 41, and a spider SPY 52. So, and very tight spread between B and A. So, it's suitable for a scalping, and the price is 51. So, I'm just gonna trade 100 shares. So, you need a cash of around 5,100, and don't use any margin, assuming not using margin, you need this this amount of cash. So let's see the first trade. I started trading later today and I was not at the beginning of market. So at this time when I started looking at charts, the market was in this area. We had uh, in the macro chart uptrend, also in the, in the structural chart and this I was thinking that it's going to accelerate, the momentum is good and so I thought this is going to accelerate and provide this range that is still suitable because I want to trade a range that is around between one dollar so in the middle is 50 cents and this one also could give me some target around here by entering 50 I could close it with 50 cents profit here if the momentum goes higher and that's reason and I'm gonna trade this with one one uh, hundred shares in one step only and uh, close it manually at the target that is 50 points so it's 50 cents here 50 cents of this so if from here goes around here in the middle of channel if you are here it will be here if it's here it has to go higher around up here and accelerate so but what happened 
so let me fill the entry assuming this entry will reach here and this is our channel the location was in oversold and uh, with fractal we can see the buyers came back so therefore everything re related to volatility was soft and also news was passed and macro chart was trendy uptrend and here we had a structural uptrend we had good momentum and we had high probability trading area because lower chart is aligned trading chart with the structural chart and also we were in oversold area and the risk to reward ratio was okay and signal of entry we got it we saw fractal and also order flow and risk management was okay so let me show you this was the trade uh, a few second of the movie so going fast forward it went up here then it showed sign of weakness and because this here is already in the here and it didn't have very good pullback and I wanted to see if momentum increased so this slow goes up and we see here that buyers uh, are getting weaker and uh, we're not getting pushed like this so I exited here so that was first trade manually exit uh, before reaching the target and uh, if if I didn't reach uh, close manually it would drop actually significantly and hit the stop so I exited manually based on evidence that price is not going up and not passing the high and we are already in the previous high here so there was not much room to go higher it could go up to here but it didn't go very fast and it came back so the first trade to record is here and we hit the entry and exit and commission we paid and then the second trade uh, I let this to come down completely and then based on the trend line here you see this trend line I entered based on this in this area the width of channel is good and uh, we can see it's from around and I'm here around 50 to 50.8 so it's easy to get 50 cents between and I again didn't see much strong momentum here and I saw the sellers came back so I came I close it here based on combination of um, price action and order flow I close it here so we are on top of this line that I closed so let me enter into the trading area so you see we are in oversold area and we almost reached the target middle target so again this was trendy and had momentum in the structure chart which is here when we enter here we are here down the momentum of this was still strong this is strong I expected good strong momentum to hit but based on the result that I saw it didn't go very up so this is the second trade movie as you see let me go faster 
uh, it didn't have good follow through again sellers came back and the order flow was not good so we close it manually around top here so around here we close it therefore a structural chart had good momentum that we anticipated this also create good momentum but didn't go to the higher area of the channel which is fine and we got out properly so high priority area after good momentum good oversold area good risk to reward ratio and uh, good entry confirmation risk management no loss today and we close it so then this trade is here the result and we got this profit to trade win percent 100 and we didn't have loss so we don't know what's a win to loss ratio but um, we set up this around 50 cents if I uh, had loss was something around 50 dollar um, so we didn't have any loss and for two trade therefore we get around 50 dollar profit from 5000 which is one person and that's very uh, typical for this kind of a scalp and uh, if, uh, by considering the fact that I just came and saw this and traded this for um, opportunity for half an hour uh, we obtain 1% of cash of our capital and our risk was also reasonable because by losing $50 for one trade also we could lose 1% and two, two consecutive uh, positive and then late here and therefore this is if you have time you can find plenty of opportunities uh, and use highly liquid ETFs and keep trading and making consistent profit. So thank you very much for your attention and have a wonderful day.